right. How's my volume? Is my volume good? Yeah, I think I think we're pretty normalized. I am here with Black and Juvenile and Master Unicorn and Zero. This is Hello. the second of four Hello. in the quarterfinals for CJTT. We have insert acronym here, a Bellion team and a GK team. This is going to be a really close match. Team. It's going to be an interesting GK. match. GK will choose attacker defender since they have the better seed. It's going to be an interesting match. Uh, in their first encounter, Valiant team won. But GK has come from a huge upset, beating WK from 2 0. Both teams, which I uh, beat. Uh, anybody got any predictions on what the first map choice will be? Anybody think they know GK? Nordtown. I think they're definitely going to go with Nordtown. Yeah, actually, both teams have a very strong choice. And they both performed really well on planes, too. It seems, uh, I think months and months ago, people would have said that GK, probably their weakest aspect of their game is their range, but if you get them on a closed map with crossbows, they're very effective. There we go, Nordtown Vegas versus Nord. Huh, Vegas, I wonder who picked that. It's going to be an interesting choice because that eliminates Vegas in case of a planes in an open map. I suppose I uh, went Vega. That is an interesting choice. Gives them that shiny step charger. GK, mostly Imp. So I see one archer. Six totals, so there might be another one hanging around somewhere. Archer with basic equipment. Hmm. Oh, they got a cav too, hiding out in an alley. One archer, one cav, rest inf. A little bit more diverse for Balian. They got two cav, I believe. Scott Ray on a heavy. I've seen a lot more spears than throwing axes. It's kind of surprising. Kind of surprised on the GK positioning. Mm -hmm. They're holding a very laid back position. They're not pushing too far. They're trying to control the map, it seems like. I think if it gets into a, a, a meat grinding contest, M versus M, I feel like it's a roll of the dice as who's gonna, gonna, gonna come out on top. GK mission uh, yeah, push on the right, dropping quick. My dog one man army. <laughs> <laughs> Although he does have significant help. <laughs> Not off on his own yet. I think the spacing on GK killed him there. Got uh, picked apart by the cab. Really not, not a good place to defend from, and, and they didn't push it fast enough, I think. Slimed they didn't push sure. cohesively. They staggered in and Mad Dog picked them apart with the help of Cav and Archer. It's, this is the kind of map setup where you would want lots of axes and just rush. Not necessarily throwing axes, shield breaking axes. From my experience with GK, when, when they keep it very tight and together and, and stay as one, they're very effective. And that was, that was kind of sloppy right there. Yeah, even even right here, they're giving uh, a couple major archers to, you know, the chance to you know, get some shots. See, that was huge that there. Was Hero took lot. out Scott. Yeah. 
are being a lot, a lot more direct now, and a lot more, uh, a lot more in-your-face fighting style, and it's paying off. Two, two men left on Valiant to kill. It's a much better defend uh, position to push from as well, Ginger. Yes, they were also more objective. They pushed those archers and they got in their faces. Hero so was some, uh, capitalized on probably picking Sky Ray off. Yeah, and GK smart. GK knows they got to put a couple rounds together and and uh, and snowball the, that Nordic armor. Both teams keeping in the same composition. No one's adapting it. This, GK's this position in the middle is... They're staggering in right GK. They need to get out of there. It's a very open position, and... Aya has two cav. It's gonna be hard to push that. Got Scott down. Looks like GK might turn this. You gotta count for that archer, though. Oh, wow, that's big right there. Yeah, three tags in a row. Phoenix, I think Phoenix just won that round for him, taking out Pez. Give him a ranged advantage. We got a three in heavy armor now. That'll be pretty significant. It's kind of hard to imagine. If GK plays their cards right, it's kind of hard to imagine Balian winning this last one. Mm -hmm. So starting to armor up. I think very tough Balian needs to play out. a little bit more defensive and set up those archers. But Oh, they dropped an archer. Burgundy is now in infantry. Really interesting to see Mach in there without an axe. <laughs> Playing a little bit more conservative. GK again being objective. Valiant with three cabs and three <laughs> infantry. Not working out. No. They're able to pick up a kill here and there, but those war spears and those throwing axes. Yeah, right from the GK start, has GK a, had just has a very, very, very solid core of infantry. Something Valiant's gonna need to adapt. I think they can shoot better than GK, but uh, it's gonna be hard on this map to operate with two calves. Switching spawns and factions. I'm expecting to see heavy infantry on Balian's side here. Maybe one cav. Maybe one cav. Probably. Lots of throwings. Yeah, lots of throwing axes. Looks like GK just didn't spawn. Oh no, I GK has three archers. Interesting. Interesting. Can you head out, uh, streamer? Open the kite, um, Valiant a little bit, I guess. Oh, I'll take them off, oh, sir. GK, um, uh, I kind of like this. They're kind of throwing the one archer on upper alley to kind of bait the infantry into committing and then attack them from above, I think. This is definitely a master of the field map here. I'm not so sure because it, it surprises me that Valiant isn't taking advantage of GK only having three infantry. Because if they push... I mean, they but think. it's hard to push that position due to having two archers set up on top and one kiting in the bottom. That's true. They can only do Mad so Dog. much. I think Mad Dog knows he effectively controls two of the three master spawns, so... I wouldn't be surprised if he holds it out here. Mad Dog's a very, very patient caller. Because obviously, on Rain of Plains has no problems going to master the field. I mean, looking at it, it's the best option right now. Because if you assault that position, by the time you send two infantry to the top to take out those two archers, everyone else is going to be dead on the bottom. Because all you can have to do is just...
hold their shields up while the archers pick them apart from top. That's true. I am, however, surprised to see no one flanking yet. Oh, there's the push. Interesting. Wow, they managed to sneak around there while the archers were both on the same side. That's very, well, very didn't do it. They did it the right way. They caught them off guard while the archers weren't paying attention. Look, notice also where they're fighting. They're fighting pretty far back. Mm -hmm. How did the archer support? It's hard for the archer support there. Oh, one archer drop. That uh, that team kill is gonna hurt. Yeah. Four three advantage, Balian. Two archers left. Cores with a kick slash on X. Ouch. I'm gonna take out Who's this archer bullet real fast. Phoenix is an old guy. He's dueled a lot on GK. He's dueled when they had it. And he's also always been in what's it called? Siege. I'm quite surprised at how good of a shot he is. He's always been an infantry, that I recall. GK changing it up. All three archers are going with them now. And this could prove that I'm not sure how to put it. It's gonna see the how they play it out. Well, not not just push right into the push right. Not their location. If they, if they get him into Ginger, the archers won't be able to do a whole lot. Yep, and they just capitalized on that. They're all stuck in the back there. Balian's pushing from both sides. They have nowhere to go. Balian can't. They can't play with him for too long. They kind of got it in the archer's face. And the throwing axes are helping with that. Killed by Demon. GK winning the battles, though. Another kill. TK again. Preemptive TK. That, that was the exact same TK. <laughs> <laughs> Sky Ray is not being very effective on this map. I've seen a bump here or there, but other than that, his presence has been pretty low. It's obviously because he's real bad. There he is. The jab of all things. Valiant yeah. winning despite peasant RPing as an imp. <laughs> See. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past D-Man to clutch this. Oh, and of course I jinx it. Mm -hmm. Tied it up. This map could be... This could very well be a tie. Remember, uh, GK... If GK doesn't GK adapt, GK though, does they're gonna pay the price for it. They did yeah, adapt, they, they added one cab. Thing is, they're giving Balian a lot of armor by conceding these, these rounds. Momentum too, that, that always does a lot for a team. Once you win one or two rounds in a row, you can... Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Where is the 6th GK player? Do they have 4 infantry? There's 4 on upper lane. Where are... I see at least one catwalk. Oh no, there he is. One archer on catwalk. Oh, morale, catwalk that was the word I was trying to think of. Have. I like wow, a big thing. Um, trade off archers for Kev. Or an archer for Kev. Between the mobility and uh, the GK inf packing all pike, I feel like this would be the map for Mad Dog to wait to master. Or the round, rather. I believe they're just waiting to capitalize on a mistake, a bad position with that archer on top. GK moving in. It's 
it's interesting what GK is doing. Yeah, kind of Looks like they're trying really. to contain them into Ginger. But that can prove to be bad for them because yeah. if they do contain them too much, Bellin can just overload on one side and push up. An archer above seems to be trying to get an angle on some of the inf Ooh, almost gets a yeah. shot in. And we're about a minute away. I, I, I don't think Mad Dog goes for the push here. I think this last minute is going to let it tick away and go to Master. Looks like Balian's backing out, giving GK more space to move out. Now that the uh, the second archer's dropped down, though, if it um, if the master spawns near Scenic, it's going to be a lot easier for Balian to get to it yeah. and to take out GK in the process. Looks like Balian's going for the push here. Probably 20 seconds before master. Capitalizing on the mistake. You're not getting so much in the archer's face, which could be bad. With that cap coming in from the back end. Ooh, this is tight. 3v3. 3 2 favor GK. A lot. Oh, wow. That's huge. It's peasant alone. I find it very hard for me to Oh wow, that could hurt. Yes. Uh, and GK nice takes try. it. Balian nice has to win this next round to force a tie on the first map. Balian's capitalized on a good mistake, which was the archer dropping, but they executed it poorly. They were not in those archers' face, they let the archers shoot all day. And even though the archers didn't get that many kills, they damaged them enough. And when that calf came in from behind, it was just dying for it. Interesting note, if you're watching spec, uh, spec chat, Garen has been team killed three times on this map. <laughs> Bowing the dad, yeah, picking up an archer. Picking up an archer. I feel like you take away all three of those TKs and eventually GK picks up another round. And this, this map isn't even winnable by Balian. Mad Dog Archer, interesting. Peasant doesn't feel that he does so well on closed maps like this. He prefers to go infantry. Now this is going to be interesting, GK's pushing up a little bit, but they're pretty far apart from each other. Darren's bait. stuck in Ginger. Oh, but it Valiant forces in the middle just push off to the left into Ginger. Garen's gonna be stuck and he can capitalize. Capitalize. Mad Dog is Garen's flanking him. Making a move right now. <laughs> yep, he pulled back just in time. Valiant's going too far up ahead now. Being careful with it, that's good. Kiro and Sky Ray dog fighting. <laughs> Mando keeps checking for an archer up top. They really need Mad Dog to come in towards the middle. Hit Hero's horse a couple. Maybe this will be the round without Master. Mad Dog seems to have an aversion to Master right now though. Also worth mentioning, GK dropped an archer and went infantry. Um, starting this round or last round? This round. This, this round. round. This this round. round. So both teams trying to adapt a little. I'm not sure I'm the not choice. Sure. 
the archers were making the difference for GK. Now whichever team takes down a horse or kills an archer first will have the advantage. Ron, Ron's took me some lists. This, this one will finally go to master. Underestimating that archer. This is bad. Akmar's pushing bot a little bit, harassing that horse. They're outnumbered on top. Will master trigger since they're so close? It will. It will be delayed now because of a hit. It's gonna spawn around 140, 130. Just a giant dancing contest right now. Cheese pizza says you're wrong. The master's not gonna spawn. Master will spawn. We've proven that it is not by distance, it's about contact. Which Mad Dog made contact to the archer not even a minute ago, so it's gonna be delayed. There, oh, there we wow. go. Just in time. Middle spawn. Gonna make things interesting. Yeah. Balan's got Akmar on it already. Uh, GK trying to shove, and Mad Dog go chooses to go engage the imp. Mad Dog is suppressed while GK's archer is getting free reign. And Akmar would have Akmar would have throw. Still 5-3 favoring GK. Yep, GK is gonna pick this oh, up. Oh, that one's dropping quick and fast. Yeah. They spread out. Peasants alone again. Right, like you mentioned, Mad Dog was, was on his own. And, uh, GK, and GK, GK, GK takes, takes the first map. Ouch. And the recent new uh, attraction for Mad Dog is Frosty Battle, and that's what he chooses. Uh, Anyone want to step on a limb and predict a uh, faction? Oh, I'm going to see Rods and Swat. I was thinking Rods and Swats. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Sarnid would probably do rather well though. Sarnid would do pretty well against uh, GK. Uh, as soon as but GK drops the three archer, that's why you get their um, chain a bit too early for those archers to be useful. Cole underscore John has joined the channel. Back to us then. GK uh, dropping the three archers in the next two rounds. It's just, it's just kind of hard in a 6v6 to, to run three archers on this map, in my opinion. GK takes SWAT into the faction. Rodox here from my dog. Mm -hmm. The only logical choice. So 
we're looking at Frosty Battle, <laughs> Swadia, and Rodex. Correct. Yeah. Not sure GK is very familiar with this map, so I'm putting my bets on Valiant winning it. You hand out streamer again? Yeah, I think we're gonna have a third map here. Yep. Actually, we may have to uh, reset. Yeah, it looks like people are downloading. Yep. There you are. It took a while for me to find you. I'm probably going to see a lot of uh, a real balanced a loadout for Balian. We're going to see them try to take the fight into the forest. That dog count tends to want to get in your face on this map and push uh, push you out of your spawn. Push you more towards the runes. The fight, depending on how GK takes, is going to be rotated completely around when... GK, 3 cav, 3 crossbow? No infantry. It's an interesting choice with Swadi because Swadi's crossbow lacks so much on melee. I was gonna Bally say looks like a two two two. Bally Bally it's gonna force Dian to be more careful about how they press them. Shouldn't be hard to pick off one or two though. It's really interesting to see all these guys getting harassed, getting harassed, taken down. Everybody's sitting on the windmill, especially with these infantry, and it's just not going anywhere. I believe Balian was just waiting for Peasant to get that flank. DK was quick on noticing it and capitalized on it by doubling up the cab on them. Hero would have GK hero is coming in. Coming GK's in not backing it. down. They're they're engulfing Balian, and they're they're letting them know what's up. Not intimidated by all by this map. Scott Ray is gonna have to help out here. It's a three, three on three. three. Scott's down. Mobility definitely siding with GK on this one. GK spaces out, plays their cards right. They could win this. Not too much, and they got their uh, two range right now. Akmar's tag, he's gotta be hurting. He goes down. GK must be feeling pretty comfortable right here. Going out of the gate and winning this. That great lance. Garen absolutely dominating and 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 being very, very Opportunistic with it with this calf play. Similar strategy from GK again. And Valiant trying to get in a seventh maybe, or Robocops pulling a Hobbit launcher. Still see a lot of infantry. It's it's seven on six right now. Infantry seems almost like a waste when they're not pushing right away. They're letting the crossbows get set up before they, they do anything. Valiant not really deviating. And the peasant gets take, taken out again. Same strategy. Valiant sends peasant on the flank. GK notices. Double up the calf, there's yeah, nothing you can do. The exact same position as this Valiant last round. being uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically resilient to to changing it up, trying to adapt. I give much props to whoever GK Caller is here. 
coming into a, I would say, not well-known map for them, being that it's a primarily battle map and a native European map. And I have to say, they're playing it really well. Yeah, I mean, they, they pretty much spawned and went right to their spots, and they knew what to do. They didn't look, they didn't look puzzled at all. Got a Scott Ray trying to fend off. He's Cav. I think Dying Cavs are gonna have to. Are gonna have to pull something out quick. Yeah, those crossbows are sneaking in shots on the infantry that are sitting back. Yeah, it's just it's kind of frustrating to, to sit quick. there the whole round with the spear and then die. Getting picked apart. Yeah, I'm I'm really surprised that Valiant isn't rolling more crossbows right now. I'm more surprised they're not rolling more cav. More cav. I mean, I swatted yeah, those infantry sure. right now. Rodok cav is not is underestimated Under with its reasons, but Valiant has the cav superiority against GK. I've got four crossbows I mean, now, one infantry. I mean, Valiant being Rodok, when, if you're if you're imp for or not being effective and are really just dead waiting the team, then going to Cav is as as Rodox is just not not your ideal situation. Valiant adapting. Ooh, that dog taking like here. Cav is just all over the place for G. A couple good shots. The extra crossbows are paying off. Trying to rally here. 5v5. This is the first round with 7v7, by the way. Dying takes it 5 to 3. I'm gonna attribute gonna... this win to Balian on an overextension on GK. Two calf charged in right into Peasant and Robocop. And they're basically trapped there due to the windmill. I mean, really having all those all those extra infantry just just stand around that that hurts so much. Especially when all the crossbows can fire away and pick them off one by one. Like, I think having the the ranged helped Valiant more this round than anything else. I understand why he's going crossbows though. He wants, I mean, if he wants the protection on those crossbows, which are highly effective. Uh, but, well, I mean, one yeah. crossbow. You Peasant's one of the best crossbows out there. Ron Burgundy's an excellent crossbow. And especially how they're using it with X protecting Mad Dog on a flank. Let's try to get a flank on them here. Because GK is keeping a very staggered position, but at the same time, they're really close to each other because a little bit of shifting and they can support each other. I mean, really, nobody on Balian's, Balian's entire team is not a competent crossbow. Akmar, Scott Ray, Robo, they can all do it if they need to. Ron with a nice headshot right there. Turning the tides in Balian's favor. Ron really got that first kill that kind of got them going on the last round too. GK Cav maybe overextending? I think a, a crossbow got a little too extended there. Balian. GK Cav, a couple of good pickups. Mm -hmm. Tide is now turned. Even though it isn't even matched, Balian has lost three crossbows. This is gonna fall on all on Balian Cav's shoulder. Oh, that shot missed by Demon. Oh, wow. And completely ignored by X. That's crazy. Dying still has cute one cat alive. I was about to say two cat. I think that's gonna then that's gonna seal it right there. It's, it's kinda hard seeing Valiant pull this one out. 4v3. I do have Scott Ray alive still, but And that is no longer the case. He's lost his worst. 
just synonymous with not being alive in his case. <laughs> and right now it's just three crossbows with a spread on. Yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> Chewbacca with a troll kill. <laughs> You run by crossbow in the back. So GK opens up Balian's, Balian's map yeah. and takes a 3-1. Yeah. So it's it's sweeper go home for Balian on this next on this next half of the map. They should have it a bit easier with Swadia if they're gonna go heavy cav, which I feel like might be the case. I feel that Valiant's cab is being completely ineffective and doing basically nothing this whole match. Sky Ray did nothing on Nordtown and so far he has not done much. You had a streamer again? They've been pre yes. they've been preoccupied with the other cab and not worrying about the expos which are killing them. Looks like a four and two split for Valiant. And the same for GK? Or 3 and 3. Now it's 4 and 2 for them as well. GK has uh, 4 crossbows. Back on a courser. I'm curious if GK prioritizes that and tries to take him out early. That team has been kind of aggressive there. Finally losing an expo, GK losing the calf. Not sure how that balances it out. So far, the Balian Cab is being a lot more effective as SWAT in, being the difference maker, it seems like. Yeah, quite a yep, few good kills by them. Their help. The X assisting in the death of Mad Hawk. Oh, that's a great shot. Chewbacca. It's a 4 and 4. Still got a 4 and 4, and GK is. GK wants it now. I'm not gonna wait. Essentially all they need is really one round. Got another uh... I can't really get a shield out though. I don't know if being on that horse is effective. There we go. He's got a, he's got a better shield. Taking down Akmar. Crosso is getting a flank on, he's got a free there. shot and missed it. He's really aggressive again. Interesting, Alpike did not stop that horse. They got the expo split on him now. Oh, good placement by Chewbacca. You gotta get that cab down and take out a crossbow. And it's not happening. It's it's over. Looks like it's over. GK wins the match. Very interesting concept of how GK took on this map. With like the recent history and, and the previous time they played, I mean, a lot of people watching this probably probably would think even though GK won the first map close that it was going to go to Frosty Battle and that Valiant was going to get their map and force a third and a lot of people still probably favored Valiant even though they were down a map but GK came out and knew exactly what to do on this map and just and tore Valiant apart. The amount of practice that they put into this is really showing up. Two huge upsets in a row. What's impressive about GK is how far their 
their weakest dimension has has improved. I mean, maybe I might not even, I might be the only person that thinks this, but I, I believe a few months ago a lot of people would have said their range is their weakest, and they're very very like dominant almost, and, and with their range play. So allows them opens up new strategies, and and they just kind of took it to Valiant, and Valiant didn't know what hit them. Yeah, I really think on this map, in particular, just the wow. <laughs> <laughs> and server's empty. You have to give props to GK. I think this last map, the range really, really got it for, for GK. And unfortunately, Valiant didn't really respond to it until the, the last round of that before the swap. And... I'm gonna attribute this whole map to GK's cab effectiveness. They were in there, yeah. and they were noticing, they were doubling up, and they were picking off an expo here, backing out, picking off an expo here, and that really killed it for Valiant. And their expos were effective, and were really well positioned, that every time the cab didn't get the kill, they got the bump, and the, cap, the archers capitalized on it. Overall, everything was perfect for GK, in a sense. Every time um, Valiant tried to flank on this map, it was shut down. I mean, really early. Personally, I, I don't know GK as well as some of the other NA clan, but I thought I, I kind of went into this thinking that GK was probably favored when this map got when the map was close and, and tight quarter. And I was of the opinion that Valiant was going to come out on a mixed or an open map and simply dominate GK, and it was the exact opposite. GK knew exactly what to do, and 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 they really, I, I say, I would say that they 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 beat about they just beat Valiant Cavs skill wise, they beat them crossbow wise and beat them men flies. I mean they they just dominated all three classes. On top of, they knew what they were doing and they had the right strategy to do it. It was a pleasure being here and thank you for having me. Good yeah, thanks for uh, commentating, guys. Same here was fun. We've got another match in. Was it uh, an hour and 15 minutes? Something like that. Of, uh, West Knights and the Rebels. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll probably come back here if you want and do that too. Right. I think we might uh we might be full for that one actually. We've got a couple others coming. I, th I think a couple that were in this in this match as well. So. Oh yeah, Mad Dog's coming to do that, right? Mm -hmm. He may a bit he may be a bit bummed out. Well, I mean, it was it's probably the closest round in the finals, like, as far as the, the initial setup. And th this was the uh, uh, Team 4 and Team 5, right? For the, uh, for the tournament as well. Yes, I think so. Get much closer than this. I thought for sure it was going to go to the third map. Surprised me. There's still a Bellion team in the race, though. Still hope. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. I'm going to close this off.